my mom, uh, she's probably the most, uh, the sweetest person you'll ever meet in your life. She's definitely the most helpful, caring, compassionate, just so many great adjectives that go into my mom. A lot of people say that mine and my mom's personalities are identical. So I think it's just the way we talk, but I don't really know. I mean, she's taught me a lot, not just with like, so like life or soccer or anything, but just like all around in general. She's been um, one of the main people that have impacted my life in so many ways. It was April 2011. That was her first time that she got diagnosed with breast cancer. And then she started chemotherapy like June of that year. And then September of that year, she went and did like a double vasectomy with like reconstruction surgery. Then it happened like three other times. So now she has it again and um, things are going well. She just gets shots like once every like two months and she's back at work and living her life. She's definitely one of the strongest people I know just because she's been through chemotherapy, radiation, um, reconstruction surgeries, like all of that stuff, and she's still living. So, I mean, she did have like stage four breast cancer, which is like the highest stage you can have. So, I mean, it tells a lot about her and her personality um, to say that she's like still living and doing her own thing like each and every day. Uh, it was definitely hard. It was a really hard experience. Um, you can't really like, I don't know how to explain it, I guess, but it's definitely just hard knowing that the person that's been for, there for you your whole entire life is like sick and worn down and they can't do everything that they usually do for you. So it was definitely hard, really hard on me just because me and my mom were so close, but it was really hard on our whole family. So um, it was just something that I really don't wish upon anyone. But I mean, it brings you a lot closer to your family than you would ever imagine, just going through stuff like that. I don't think my family would be as close if this wouldn't have happened, and I wouldn't change any of the things that we've gone through for it, just because it's made us the close-knit family that we are today. I love you very much, and I'm really glad that you are here with me today. Um, I wouldn't be the woman I am today without you, and I love you a lot.